Good morning, everybody. The lady's here. Again, yet another day. We have Carly on our slide. So we start to finish. Say hi. Keep on the things of the house. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening from wherever you're watching us from. This is the Nelson Golden Spot. I am for the lady. And as usual, we get another Monday to do this thing once again. Uh, thank you so much for joining in. We hope that we'll have a uh, substantial discussion about allergies in general, respiratory allergies, skin allergies. And basically, uh, those types of allergies that you go through and what causes them and why. Because there is a uh, healthy public discussion for the people who experience this allergy to get aware that. How about that, my people on YouTube? Is it clear? Kindly communicate to us if the sound is clear. If it's not, then you'll have to use something else. Let me just see what I can do. As you share the live so that more people join in, so that uh, we get to have a conversation about allergies. Thank you so much, those guys who are joining in on YouTube. It's always a pleasure having you around. Now we are having a lot of logistic issues, but we'll sort that out immediately the, uh, uh, the, this coming month starts so that we can make sure that this content comes to you in a clear and more profound uh, way. So for now, kindly bear with us. We will do with what we have. We will deal with what we have for the moment, because kwa sababu ambazo hazingeweza kuepukika. What is wrong with this thing? Let me try this, and then let's see what happens. That was a waste of time. 
now let's go straight to the point. I think it's still clear on YouTube with that, uh, even though the voice is not, or the sound is not that clear. We'll still push along until we make sure that everything is in order. Now, welcome to this uh, conversation today. I'm happy to have you guys all. I'm happy to have those people who are on YouTube and TikTok. Welcome aboard. Again, I'll repeat, this is Dr. Lewis, and thank you so much for the support that you've shown us all over our social media platforms. And today, I have decided to have this conversation about allergies. Just before that, let's say hi to Victor Minaragoba. How are you? Lilian Onyango, Kamau, Rehab, Andeso Reina. Naima Solomon, thank you so much for being part of us. On TikTok, I see everybody, literally everybody. And guys, thank you so much for pushing us so hard on TikTok so that we, we take those numbers. I'm glad that you share our content every other day. And we hope that beginning the other, the, the, this coming month, we will give you uh, the best information that you require and the best videos because again, as I mentioned earlier, the logistics are an issue a little bit because of where I am. Now, we have been talking about the gut every other day. We have been talking about fixing the gut. We've always been uh, advocates of fasting, advocates of dropping wheat products, advocates of dropping seed oils, advocates of dropping sugar, and just the entire well-being. And I realized that most people will ask me a question about drugs. So most of you still don't believe that you can exist or you can live your life without drugs. Most of you still believe that there must be a pill for every ill. That is one thing that is messing us up totally. And the reason that is, is because, let's say, for example, antibiotics. When you use antibiotics, the intention of antibiotics was actually, in the beginning, it was a good idea that it will help people uh, fight these infections and these diseases. But as time went by, business got over, business took over, and everybody went straight into business. And even now, you understand that that pharmacy that is outside your gate, that pharmacy that is outside your office, is not interested in your health anymore. It's interested in making profits and paying bills. So pharmacists have to pay bills. Hospitals also have to pay bills. Doctors have clinics and private uh, institutions that have to pay bills. And when that came in, every single doctor out here forgot about the Hippocratic Oath. Everybody went straight into business. So it became business as usual. Now, allergies are one of the areas where doctors reap a lot. And pharmacies reap a lot because of our own ignorance. Listen to this. Whatever you see externally is actually what is being portrayed, or rather, the outside portrays what is totally happening inside. That is one thing that I will always want you to understand. If you consider yourself healthy, but you have pimples on your skin, you have a problem. And the problem is not on the skin. The skin is just an indicator or a signal that your internal is a problem. Just the same way, mental health conditions are a fallacy. When you see children having this ADHD, people going through depression, people going through all these issues, lack of sleep, insomnia, and all this, it's not because their brain has a problem. It's not because of any other reason that has been defined by the syllabus. It is always because of what you've been taken in. So garbage in, garbage out. If you have a bad skin, if you have those allergies, the eczema, the acne, it is not about the acne anymore. It's about what is inside. What have you been consuming that is causing you an imbalance in these hormones? For example, acne, the cystic acne. What have you been consuming that is causing you estrogen dominance? Those people who have skin tags, those people who go to the uh, men who go to, to get a haircut, and when you have that cut, you, you always have those uh, those rashes and that that skin reactivity. What is causing that? What is causing that is what you've been eating. So even after you've used uh, those, those aftershaves, nothing is happening. 
even after you've used acne creams, you've used all these steroid creams and nothing is happening, is because you're actually trying to treat inflammation on the skin and you're failing to focus on the cause of that inflammation. Now, the skin is an indicator of a messed up gut or a fixed gut. This is easy to understand because most of the people that uh, are part of my program, those who are on Telegram, those who are also here on YouTube and TikTok, they know. If you're new here, kindly uh, consider subscribing, consider following us on TikTok. There's a lot of information that we are giving out for free. Now, most of you eat so much carbohydrates in your diets. And then you will blame other things. So most of you will eat uh, your a balanced diet. Let me call it a balanced diet because I, I am one person who believes there is nothing called a balanced diet. It's always a scheme. It's always a scam to just get you hooked to the food industry so that you keep on buying their products. Most of you consume breakfast, lunch, supper, and then snack in between. The point is this. The food industries are very, very, very sharp. They're actually bigger than us. Okay, We are just their clients. So they came up with a very good description of how you should take your meals and stuff. They made all these uh, meals around. The three meals. <laughs> that is the worst thing that ever happened to nutrition. And I'm just, I'm just surprised that our mainstream nutritionists still hold on to that. Now, if you've been here for long, you know that a balanced diet consists of maybe carbohydrates, then proteins, and then vegetables. That is exactly, and then maybe a fruit. So that is exactly what has been put out there for you to consume. Now, the point is this. I have no problem with that. I want you to ask yourself this question every time you think about a balanced diet. That, are carbohydrates really necessary in your diet? I put up posts every other day telling you that the only food or macromolecule that you can consume that you can consume then later on have a deficiency condition rather no later on have a disease attached to consuming that food or that macro molecule or that macronutrient is carbohydrates excessive consumption of carbohydrates will lead you to diabetes hypertension insulin resistance uh, cancer, uh, kidney failure, and all these, which are called the metabolic syndrome. Now, funny enough is, if you drop carbohydrates from your diet, nothing will happen to you. Nothing will happen. Most of you have been brainwashed by the food industry to think that if you drop carbohydrates, you go into hypoglycemia, so low blood glucose, and then you'll faint. Listen, it's time to unlearn these things. Medical doctors, pharmacists, nutritionists have gone into a pharmacy class, sat down, learned biochemistry as a whole unit. But nobody practices it. Nobody practices it. In the liver, when you consume carbohydrates, whether you eat a fruit, whether you eat ugali or chapati or rice, it doesn't matter. Whether you eat a sweet potato, it doesn't matter. It will be broken down to the simplest form of carbohydrate. And then it will be absorbed. That is either glucose for the ugali, for the rice, for the chapati and stuff. And then we have fructose, the most dangerous sugar, which is found in modern fruits and is found in honey. And also processed uh, drinks, the energy drinks and processed foods. So fructose is absorbed, glucose is absorbed, then they go to the liver. Once they go to the liver, this glucose that you've absorbed is not enough to give you energy. It's not enough to give you energy at that moment in time. This will go to the liver to be converted to uh, fat, then stored. So your body is already preparing for a disaster, for maybe fasting, because that's how your genes are designed. Your body is not designed to eat all the time. So you've consumed a fruit, hoping that this is a healthy fruit that it has nutrients and vitamins. But the fruit has sugar, so you've absorbed sugar, discarded the vitamins. So even your skin will not have essential vitamins, the vitamin A. Because you've discarded those vitamins that are involved in skin function. Are, most of them are fat-soluble vitamins. So you have to dissolve them in fat for them to be absorbed. And that is animal fat. That's why I insist on saturated fats. Not unsaturated, saturated fats. Now, so your balanced diet has ugali, has sukumawiki, has meat. And maybe two, two portions of meat, two slices of meat, or two pieces of meat. And most of you are avoiding the egg. 
So we'll talk about egg and allergy. Okay. So just stay tuned. We'll talk about protein allergies. So now you have all these issues. What is happening to my my lights are off? Anyway, we will continue. So what is happening now is you have this balanced diet in your head. So you're consuming garlic, vegetables, a fruit, and a small protein. And that is lean protein because that is what the system, system has told you. Now, what happens is this. This food will be digested and then absorbed. But the interesting part is you will absorb carbohydrates more than you will absorb the protein and the vitamins for a reason. Energy, because it's protecting you anyway. So when the body saves that energy, the body will take quick sugar, the glucose, the fructose. So it will take quick sugar. Now, fructose does not cause an insulin, a spike in insulin in your blood. It doesn't. But fructose in the liver, it will be converted straight to triglycerides, which is fats. The only sugar that is converted directly to fats is fructose. So, my people, this is interesting because if you are obese, overweight, you have metabolic syndrome, diabetes, hypertension, cancer, and stuff, and you still consume fruits hoping that they are healthy for you, you are, good, you are getting yourself into trouble. Because remember, all these conditions hail from insulin resistance. And insulin resistance is because of a fatty liver. And a fatty liver is caused by fructose. Number one sugar in the fatty liver is fructose, which is the fruit and honey sugar. And the sugar that is put now in uh, those processed foods. You read the label, you'll see uh, uh, corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup. They use that term. And you ignore that because most of you don't read labels because of your addiction to food, food industry, you don't read labels. So Nestle company is very clean. These food companies are very clear. So they came up with this, uh, with, 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 with this marketing strategy. I told you, one, eat a balanced diet. Number two, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. What a waste of space. Breakfast is not the most important meal of the day. Breakfast is the most useless meal of the day. Please understand that. Our bodies have a biological clock. Okay? So even before that, so we'll talk about the breakfast thing later on because we don't want to lose track of what we are headed to. So you've absorbed your carbohydrates and then you've spiked your insulin levels and then as you continue consuming carbohydrates, you'll get spikes of this insulin, you'll get all this insulin resistance. Insulin resistance is where your cells cannot take in any more glucose. Because when you take that carbohydrate, when you take that glucose, it has to be taken all the way uh, to the liver, processed, and then taken to the cells. And how is it taken to the cells? Insulin is the one that opens up the gate so that this glucose in blood flows into the cells. And then in the cells, it is converted to either energy, if you're working out, if you're active, or it is converted to fat and then stored. So you start being fat. So you've eaten ugali, carbohydrate. <coughs> Sorry. You've gotten your glucose. You've gotten to insulin resistance. You're now diabetic. Number two, you go to your doctor and the doctor tells you, continue eating fruits. <laughs> now, fruits have fructose. You've absorbed fructose every day. You absorb fructose. And the doctor tells you that a fruit every day will keep you away from a doctor. Yet, in real sense, you've absorbed fructose. The body does not know a banana. It's you who knows a banana. The body does not know a mango. The body does not know an apple. It's you who knows the apple. So you absorb the fructose. The fructose goes to the liver. And then in the liver, it's converted to triglycerides, which is fat. And then this fat is stored in the cells. So you keep on growing fat. How will you ever avoid this metabolic syndrome? I'm mentioning insulin resistance because insulin resistance is the one that is responsible for skin conditions, skin tags, acne, all these issues, allergies. They come as a result of insulin resistance. So are you now able to connect insulin resistance to carbohydrate intake? Are you able to connect the two, the relationship between carbohydrate intake and insulin resistance and your skin problems? <clears throat> so the simplest way possible is this. Wheat products, chapati, mandazi, bread, pasta, spaghetti, 
those are good products, the cakes. And cakes are even worse because these sweet products, again, plus sugar, plus other uh, ingredients. So you get those sweet products. And what wheat products do? When they get into your stomach, wheat has something called gluten. And you people keep on ignoring that fact. Wheat has gluten. And gluten is a substance that is very, 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 very toxic to your system. So it will cause you systemic inflammation. That is when it gets into your system. And it will also cause you local inflammation. So in your gut, it causes inflammation. So you can imagine, even somebody is asking, what about whole meat? Now, there is no difference between whole meat and wheat. And wheat. They are the same. They still have gluten. Now, the point is this. This is the reason why the food industry brainwashes you quickly. They know that you already have bad information out there, that you think brown chapati is better than white chapati. These two products, for you just to open up your mind, these two products are coming from the same industry. How do you expect an industry producing white wheat to give you a healthy product? They are in business. They don't care about you. They just come up, come up with a strategy that tells you, that makes you makes you hook to the products for a lifetime. Because they'll tell you, we, the, the brown wheat is better than the white wheat. The brown chapati is better than the, the brown bread, the brown sugar. All this, that soda is better than the other soda. And they know very well that you'll get hooked up to these things and you'll start consuming them. Now, most of you have... I have fallen victim of the brown chapati, brown bread, and uh, brown rice. Hoping that this is whole food, this whole wheat, they still have. Why do you want to consume wheat products? Because they are addictive. They have ectophins that activate your dopamine. They are simple carbohydrates. They cause a spike in insulin, so you get into insulin resistance, and also those cravings. It is very hard to quit chapati. It is very hard to quit mandazi. So, what they do, that gluten causes inflammation in your gut. Now, if you know inflammation, it has four things. We have the swelling, we have the redness, we have increase in temperature, and we also have, uh, uh, well, therefore, increase in temperature, swelling, we have redness, okay? Those cardinal signs of inflammation. Once they happen to your gut, that is what we call gastritis. So most of you are suffering from gastritis and you're blaming beans. <laughs> you're consuming too much wheat products, but you're blaming beans for what wheat cost you. So wheat causes perforation of the gut. Some call it the celiac disease. Some call it the leaky gut. So that is what gluten causes. And now once you have this, remember on your stomach, outside your stomach wall, we have a lot of blood vessels that are supposed to pick up what you've absorbed. Okay absorbed, the food that you absorb goes straight into the bloodstream. And also some goes to the hepatic portal vein. So we have a whole plexus of blood vessels on your stomach wall. Again, for you to absorb fat, we need another uh, system. So we have the lymphatic system, the one that absorbs fat. And the lymphatic system is basically an immune system. So, when you have these perforations in your gut, and then you eat an egg, Particles of the egg white, the yolk has no problem. If you eat the yolks, if, even if you have those protein allergies and you eat yolks, you'll never experience them. But if you eat the yolk and the egg whites, so the egg whites has particles that will seep into these uh, perforations and it will encounter the immune system. Now, this immune system does not recognize. Remember, the immune system has to recognize cells as their own so that it doesn't fight them. So it has to differentiate between the invading cells and the host cells. So when these protein particles seep in, the immune system does not recognize it as own, the, the body cells. So the immune system starts to fight it. And when it starts to fight it, that is where you start getting this respiratory, the skin allergies. That is where you get the, 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 the allergic reactions that you get on the skin, even on respiratory, including asthma. So what will you do when you have protein allergies, in quotes, you will avoid the protein. You'll say, no, I don't eat eggs, I don't eat meat and stuff. You are losing out, you're missing out on very essential minerals. Remember, proteins are highly essential. 
Fats are highly essential. Carbohydrates are not essential. There is no minimal daily requirement of carbohydrates. And if you continue consuming carbohydrates, you get a condition, a medical condition. If you don't consume carbohydrates, there is no deficiency condition for carbohydrates. If you are aware of any deficiency condition because of lack of carbohydrates, kindly write it out. If you've ever known somebody who has died from not taking carbohydrates, please inform us. We will be here to respond to that. So now, you have gotten that reaction from the protein. But the cause is not the protein. The cause is the wheat products, the sugar and the seed oils. All of this, they cause that inflammation to your gut. And that inhibits you from absorbing nutrients adequately. And that causes a direct link between the gut things, the gut contents and uh, the blood, the, the, the bloodstream. Again, you will realize that in your gut we have bacteria. There's a population of good and bad bacteria. But the good bacteria are definitely fed by the body. And when you fast, the bad bacteria die because ketone bodies can only serve as food to the good bacteria. So those bacteria are there necessarily to help you protect your system. They are a part of your immunity. But the good bacteria are the ones that help you fight the bad bacteria. Okay? So once you do that, once you have that imbalance, the, the good bacteria being upper and the bad bacteria being lower is okay. But these bad bacteria produce compounds that are called LPS, lipopolysaccharides. Now, these lipopolysaccharides, remember, if you've been consuming high carbohydrate diet, the population in your gut, the bacterial population in your gut, is already exceeding, the bad ones are already exceeding the good ones because you're only developing a population that will help you to digest the food that you're bringing in. So you'll have high population of uh, bacteria that help you digest carbohydrates. That's the reason why you get addicted, because these bacteria are the ones that cause you the cravings. So these bacteria produce chemicals that are called, on the surface of their cell wall, they have compounds that are called lipopolysaccharides. Now, these lipopolysaccharides, they break off sometimes, and they are okay in the gut, because they'll just be cleared off. The problem is, once you have a messed up gut, these lipopolysaccharides get access into your bloodstream. Now, when they get into the bloodstream, that is where the problem begins, because this will cause you systemic inflammation. And actually, people who have heart failure, people who have uh, uh, metabolic syndrome, people who have asthma, have been recorded to have high compounds of lipopolysaccharides in their system. And these lipopolysaccharides are the ones that are causing systemic inflammation. So if you want to fight allergies, you have to. You There's no option. Wheat products in your diet have to go. I know how it is hard. I know how you're addicted to them. I know how they cause you hunger. Now you can eat chapati right now. The next one hour, chapati and tea. The next one hour, bread and tea. After an hour, you're yawning. You want more. Why don't you ask yourself why that is happening? It's because in your gut, you have a high population of bacteria that are adapted to digesting carbohydrates. So they send you into cravings. Number two, you eat wheat products now. You absorb them. They spike your insulin levels, and then insulin drops blood sugar levels to the lower uh, portion, so hypoglycemia. And then you get into cravings because the body is telling you, bring in more energy so that I can top up this glucose back to normal levels. On that note, when I tell people to fast, they tell me, the diabetic people, when I tell you to fast, you tell me, you know, when I fast, I will have a problem with uh, uh, hypoglycemia. So I'll, find, I'll faint or I might die because of low blood glucose. Hello? That's a lie. If you're diabetic, you have enough glucose in your cells. You need to burn that glucose that is stored in form of fat. You have a belly. You have a fatty liver. You need to burn that fat to give you glucose. Fat is converted to glucose. Fat is also converted to ketone bodies. Okay? So when you fast, you heal your gut. When you fast, you concentrate your stomach acid, and therefore H. pylori will disappear. Now, when you fix your gut, the spiritual allergies, skin allergies will start to disappear. I am an advocate of drugs, but only drugs that will help you fix uh, the situation. Sorry about the internet. Drugs that will help you fix the situation. I am not an advocate of drugs, just aimless use of drugs. And that is how the big pharma has made us believe that there will always be a pill for every ill. That you will have to take a drug for you to recover from any condition that you have. You have a headache, here we have paracetamol. You have, you have a stomachache, here we have 
uh, metronidazole. You have a problem with your gut, you have indigestion and bloating, here we have omeprazole. That is the mindset I want you to run away from because you are the orchestrator of your own problems. So skin allergies, you go to the doctor and they will do an observation, they will tell you you need skin scrapping or straight, straight to writing a prescription. They are writing you antihistamines. They are writing you a prednisolone, those steroids. Now you take an antihistamine, you start becoming dizzy. You're sleepy all the time. You're not productive anymore. Now you take that prednisolone and you start growing all these side effects because steroids have harmful side effects. By the way, if you're on steroids, if, if, even if you're an asthmatic patient and you're on that steroid inhaler, a drug that are called steroids, they end with O-N-E, prednisolone, dexamethasone, beclamethasone, all those son, 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 sons. Those are steroids. So if you're using those drugs, what they do is they will lower immunity. They will also cause the liver to break down glycogen or that fat to give you glucose. And therefore, they will raise your blood sugar levels. And if you're diabetic and you're using an asthmatic inhaler or you're using any steroid inhaler, steroid for any condition, be it arthritis, be it uh, you had, not unless you had a transplant. So if you're using any steroid, please stop using them. Women are using these steroids to help them bulge, to help them have that round face and the hips. Now, that round face is a, is a symptom of kidney problems because steroids cause an issue in the adrenals. So you're already failing your kidneys. That bulging hip is accumulation of water because steroids help you retain water because they raise your insulin levels. Now, you'll have very weak bones. You will have hip fractures. And this will cause you a lot of problems already. So you need to start fasting. Once you start fasting, you start fixing your gut. Once you start fixing your gut, and then you can enjoy your protein. So you fast, you drop with products, you drop seed oil, cook using saturated fats, the animal fats or coconut oil. And then you drop the sugar in all forms, including fruits and honey, apart from avocado. Once you drop that, that is therapy for you already. You will not need a week to start experiencing a change. Your gut starts fixing itself. The inflammation disappears. Your gastritis disappears. Then once you have a fixed up gut, now you can start absorbing. Your HCL in the stomach starts being concentrated. So now you can digest protein in their adequate forms so you can absorb amino acids in their op optimum amounts. So you start, those mental health conditions start disappearing. Your depression will start going away because now you've balanced your dopamine and you've balanced your serotonin hormones. Because those hormones come from the gut. They come from protein and amino acids. So if you cannot absorb protein and amino acids, Believe me, you, you will not get any injection that has these amino acids in their absorbable and natural forms. They are only in meat, eggs, and fats. So why don't you focus on the diet? So once you fix your gut, then now skin problems start to disappear. Your acne disappears. Your pimples start to disappear. You start have, having a, 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 a glowing skin. You start reversing insulin resistance. And insulin resistance is the cause of high estrogen levels. And high estrogen levels are the ones that cause you uh, acne. Women, stop using those acne products that are synthetic. They are lying to you that they are natural. They are, there's nothing natural in those products. The problem is not on your skin. The problem is in your gut. So fix the gut and skin conditions start to disappear. Through that, you'll also fix your hormonal imbalance because you'll drop estrogen. Once you drop insulin, you drop estrogen. Eat salt. Then consume foods that are rich in fat, animal fat. So if you go to the butcher man, tell them to give you a fatty meat. Don't tell them to throw a mafuta. That fat is necessary for you because that will make you not to overeat the protein. Fat also does not cause a spike in insulin. Fat is also essential in development of your skin because of cholesterol. Eat those eggs. Cholesterol is very important information of vitamin D that is responsible for your immunity. Eat those vegetables. There is no supplement that will help you recover from your skin condition. All supplements are found in vegetables, are found in avocado, are found in meat, are found in the liver, are found in the egg. Focus on those. Why don't you eat those? Why do you want supplements? That's a quick fix. And the industry, the pharmaceutical industry is capitalizing on that. You've seen there are so many people marketing supplements all over. Here on TikTok, you see every other time somebody tells you something about acne, and then he's telling you this is a product from this company. It's a very good product. I've used it myself. People use our content to lose weight and then still go ahead and take pictures and use it to market their products. So do you think you're smart enough? You're not smart enough. They are smarter than you. 
We have had people losing acne, losing skin conditions. We have had doctors lose their pot belly and still use our information to guide patients. That is a good thing. However, they take credit, which is okay. We don't have a problem with that, but at least appreciate that there's something. So they come on my wall, talk bad things on my TikTok wall. I'm glad that on my YouTube we have so much people, so many people who are interested in this knowledge and they get good information out of this. And people on YouTube we have very positive energy. I will appreciate that. And if you're new here, please, health content, we are a mini library. We produce these things every other day. Press that subscription button, get that notification every other time you want to. You want to enjoy this. If you're on TikTok and you've never visited our YouTube, you're doing yourself an injustice. My YouTube channel is Health and Wellness Sport. Be there. There's a lot of information that we cannot share on TikTok. The other day I put up a video about masturbation. And on YouTube they stopped monetizing it. Uh, but on TikTok they removed the, the sound. You can imagine. So the system is bigger than us. We understand that. But if we are masses, we will make our voices will be heard. How many people have we saved? from diabetes drugs, from hypertension, from those drugs for cholesterol. You're hoping that cholesterol is a crime, but yet cholesterol is not a problem. Your system produces it. Your brain is all cholesterol. Good. So the company that came up with breakfast is the most important meal of the day is called Nestle. And you know, Nestle prepares uh, everything that you consume on your breakfast table. Simple carbohydrates sugar, cereals, milk, milk formulas. All these are, compo are products that are dangerous to your, to your system. And for children, you can imagine if you're a mother, you gave birth to your child through CS. This child did not have exposure to bacterial microorganism that will help the child boost their immunity. So they're already starting the game one nil down. Then you move because you've been eating bad foods. You lack milk. There's no breast milk. You're a modern woman, so you want you don't want to be breastfeed. So your child lacks breast milk. Then the next thing you do is you go and again to this company to buy milk formulas for your baby. So your baby starts taking milk formulas from three months until they stop, uh, they, they start winning off food to healthy foods or complementary feeding. So you give them these foods. Then your baby goes to hospital and given, I, I think it's called plant peanut or something for nutrition, for nutritional value. Zero nutrition, anything that is packaged and advertised, zero nutritional value. Avoid it. So these three, CS, then the child goes ahead, milk formula, the child goes ahead, plump nut, then after they start feeding, you're feeding your child on foods that are cooked in seed oils. Those vegetable oils that you light that are vegetable oils, they are seed oils. Your child eats rice, chapat, you give your child bread every time. You give your child pasteurized milk, milk that has been packed, packed, sorry whether powdered or the, the, the other milk. Then you give your child margarine. They apply a slice of peanut butter and margarine to bread. It almost in a can, it's like a little bit of 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 a your home is, is almost like a mini pharmacy. You have all the antihistamines. You have all the, 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 the steroids in your house. You are suffering from arthritis. You're suffering from even, even the lack of breast milk is an indicator that what you've been eating is wrong. So you already conditioned this child to be a carbohydrate addict from the time they were born to the time they will die. So I am not surprised that anytime I tell you guys to stop eating wheat products and carbohydrates, it is always chaos. To stop eating those modern foods, it's always chaos. The reason that is, is because you are conditioned from early age to be an addict of carbohydrates. So you can imagine that child, the entire life of that child, how will it be? Now you move from there, now you, you, part, you already started giving the child antihistamines, antibiotics. What antibiotics do? You see, the reality is this. We cannot avoid diseases. However, we can fix our system to help us fight diseases because antibiotics were designed to assist your immune system. So you realize those acne gels, they have antibiotics, they have vitamin A in quotes. There's nothing with, like vitamin A. No synthetic product has vitamins and supplements. Those vitamins, those supplements that are that you're sold to, they are unabsorbable, 
they are not bioavailable. So your systems do not recognize them. For instance, if you go and buy, let's say like zinc, instead of getting zinc from pumpkin seeds, you go and buy a zinc supplement. You need copper to absorb that zinc. So it's coming as a zinc supplement without copper. How will you absorb it? So please save that money and send it to me. And then start fixing your gut. <clears throat> Anywho, so you're here, your child is taking those antibiotics. What antibiotics do? They were designed to help you to assist your immune system. They were not designed to help you heal. They were designed to subside the bacterial population to a certain level that your immunity takes over. But what do we do? We take antibiotics over and over and over and over because we are hoping that antibiotics will save our situation. You are told that you have skin problem, so you need uh, antibiotic to clear that uh, infected. Yes, and uh, it will help you clear that infection in that in that sebum or in uh, and that uh, skin, uh, the hair follicle. If it if at all it's it's inflamed or it has an infection. Now this antibiotic imbalances your bacterial population in the gut, on the skin, and in your system. That is already a problem because. Remember, you had good bacteria, and most antibiotics are not selective. They will kill both the good and the bad bacteria. So you will need fermented cabbage to replenish your bacteria, or a pro and prebiotic to replenish your bacteria. And hello, the big farmer has come up with a... <laughs> we have, now we've taken our antibiotic. Again, we have a probiotic here. And since you're lazy to make fermented cabbage, you will buy a probiotic, hoping that it will help you fix your gut bacteria. Most of us take things that we don't even know. Nobody reads the label. Nobody reads the ingredients. The doctor said, the doctor said, the doctor said, my gynecologist said, my doctor said, my skin expert said. Those same, same experts that sat on a board of nutrition are being paid by nutrition, uh, the food industry, and they're being paid by the big pharma to mislead you so that they make as much profits from you as possible. So and learn. So once you stop eating wheat products, once you change your cooking fat from those seed oils, those vegetable oils, to healthy fats, which are animal fats, the ghee, the tallow, the lard, the butter, and sometimes coconut oil, it's good for deep frying and stuff because it's stable. They are saturated, so they are stable. Once you use that, then your system starts getting better. Once you start fasting, because you only need a maximum of two meals a day. The first meal has not, doesn't have to be at seven. Move your first meal towards midday. The last meal, move it towards sunset. Now you have a whole lot of time to fast. Women are asking me, if you tell us not to, uh, to use breast milk formulas, what do you use? The, the milk formula, what do you use? Now let me tell you, you have to fix your gut. And by the way, do not ever think that what you're eating is exactly what the child is getting. Most of you eat seven meals a day because I am eating for my baby. I am eating to produce the breast milk. The food that you've eaten now, you will need at least 12 hours to absorb it. And then that food will be taken to the liver, converted to fat, and that fat is stored in the fat globules around your nipple. So that is what will be uh, channeled to the breast for the child. So and learn, don't eat for your baby. You're eating for yourself. It's your selfish interest. Now, men, if you have skin problem, just know you're raising your estrogen. Chances are high, you already have uh, estrogen dominance. So you also are going through erectile dysfunction. You are also going through uh, premature ejaculation. You are now, even your voice is toning down. Anytime you have a conversation with a woman, they think you are another woman because you're, you're talking so much like a, a, a lady because of high estrogen levels in your system. So once you make sure there's a gap of eight hours between your meals, you're safe because that will take you to basically two, two meals a day. But most of you eat every time. Somebody even asks me, when we are fasting, can we eat nuts? And then I ask you the question, what is fasting? <laughs> Why do you find need to eat? And then tell us, I've been fasting, but I've been eating ground nuts. You've not been fasting. Fasting means no food at all. So let me go to some comments here and just answer some questions. I hope Wasike is here so that he can uh, get to help us. What about babies and children? Please share a meal plan for an eight-month-old. At eight months old, I already know that the child is taking is still on breast milk. Now you are introducing complementary feeding. So you're combining breast milk with other healthy foods. The butternuts, mashed butternuts, very healthy for babies. Pumpkins, mashed beans, 
the sweet potatoes those are just the carbohydrates that babies appreciate then combine that with meat you can make that meat and just make it for your baby take time if you're a woman take time for your baby give these babies egg yolks healthy foods give these babies avocados give these babies the liver fish don't go and buy <laughs> cod liver oil that is already processed just take fish 40 fish make fish and give your baby these are the foods that babies appreciate and they will have a very strong immunity they will be very bubbly drop sugar in babies because if you introduce sugar this child will end up being told they have adhd they will end up having respiratory allergies like asthma if you have asthma drop wheat products completely from now drop it just see what happens by dropping wheat products alone drop that seed oil the cooking oil just change it and see what happens now you've been trying all these drugs and all these things for all the time that you've had that asthma or that allergy or that acne don't you think it's time to just think a little bit wider maybe differently because that's what i encourage people i tell you i'm not here to tell you that i'm going to give you solutions but i'm telling you i am giving you an alternative because i'm part of the healthcare system i understand what happens in the healthcare system i understand drugs but I'm also one person who has taken deeper interest in knowing much outside the health condition. And actually, I take people one generation back when fruits were seasonal. So you eat a mango today and then eat a mango next year, a time like this. But nowadays, a mango is always at your doorstep. You would see pineapples rarely. You would eat guavas once in a year. You would eat those zambarao once a year. What happened to that? What happened to us walking long distances? What happened to us walking in the sun? Now we sit in an office under an AC. What happened to us eating chapati once a year or twice a year because it was ceremonial? What happened to us taking soda once a year? That we had to change all these things and start taking soda every day. Think of your life without the media. And in the village somewhere very serene. Nowadays, if you go to the villages, sugar wheat products and seed oils are actually a measure of success my son brought me sugar my son will bring me chapati my son will bring me atta my son will bring me seed oils my son brings me a whole 20 liters of vegetable oils they are healthy because they have vegetable in it ah there is no vegetable in that oil it is coming from seeds it is highly refined it has high omega-6 which is highly inflammatory and has a problem with your gut and therefore it will affect your skin it blocks you from absorbing healthy nutrients from those meals. So you've cooked your vegetables in seed oils, hoping that they are healthy. You absorb no vitamins from that vegetable because you need animal fat to absorb vitamin A, D, E, and K. Your skin also needs biotin, vitamin B7, which comes from healthy amino acids that come from fatty protein. So if you want a healthy skin, you must consume meat and make it fatty meat. You need omega-3 to fight inflammation. So the omega-3 will be found in animal fats, the egg, the liver, and also avoiding these other products that are sugar, the wheat products, because they will mess up your absorption of essential vitamins. So if you eat a fruit and you think that I've eaten a fruit and I'll be healthy, no, you've actually absorbed the fructose in the fruit because the body takes what it's interested in, that what gives it a reward. Sugar gives the body a reward of feeling good. So it will take the sugar and discard the vitamins. So if you want a healthy skin, this is what you should do. Number one. Fix your gut by dropping, start by dropping sugar in all forms, including fruits and honey, apart from avocado. I always insist on that because it has essential fats. So drop sugar in all forms. Drop wheat products in all forms, whether processed or whole, drop them. Number three, drop seed oils. The cooking oil that you're using, drop it. Start using animal fat for your cooking. Start using coconut oil. Then olive oil is not supposed to be used for cooking like deep cooking because olive oil is monosaturated so you can it's still unstable so you can use it to top dress your salads you can use it for shallow cooking and stuff okay use ghee use tallow use uh, coconut oil use butter those are healthy fats that do not uh, that stand uh hit high temperatures so change the, after you drop those three the only three any other thing you can consume but drop these three first once you've dropped these three now straight on to fasting make sure you have an eight hour gap between your meals 
What of fresh sugar cane? Sugar cane is still sugar. <laughs> In sugar cane, the acting component of sugar cane is glucose and fructose. So canola oil is also no good. Canola oil is a scam. Canola oil comes from rape seeds. So it's a seed oil. It comes from rape seeds. Avoid it. Just if you're not using ghee, if you're not using tallow, if you're not using butter, if you're not using uh, a coconut oil, you're using the wrong thing. You're using the wrong thing. Macadamia oil, they are, they are, they are unsaturated. Those nuts oil, that's unsaturated. We are interested in saturated oils. Kindly help. I always itch whenever I finish bathing. That is allergic. That's the system telling you you're doing the wrong thing. One, you're taking so much warm, hot showers. That is one. Number two, your gut is already messed up. So you need to fix your gut for you to fix your skin, for you to enjoy that shower. Okay. Good. Daniel, even the Bible talks about fasting in Matthew 17, 21. Well, I don't know much about the Bible. I don't know much about uh, the Quran. But at least there's somebody who knows something about the Bible. So believe me, you, your bodies are not designed to fast. And by the way, every food that you eat is not utilized. It's not utilized. You store it as fat, in form of fat. Now, the body always prepares for the worst. And the body loves fat. The body cannot release that fat easily. It will never release that fat easily. It holds on to that fat because it knows in case of a disaster or starvation, and then it will burn this fat because fat has double the energy that protein and carbohydrates can give you. So it will burn that fat to give you this energy. And it's a slow process. It requires a lot of energy. So the body does not like spending energy. That is one. Also, the body does not like uh, uh, utilizing fat. The body stores it, keeps it because it knows these are healthy nutrients that you use when you're fasting. So the body is expecting you to fast, but you're not fasting. You're eating every other time. Most of you are eating five meals a day. How is that even making sense? Five meals a day and you're still snacking. You take tea in the morning before you leave the house with bread and butter. Butter is okay, but now you've used bread, you used tea that has milk. Milk is another scam. You'll be told that milk is protein. Milk, processed milk has no protein. And milk is for babies and calves. If you're using milk as an adult, please stop. Why did you change the species? It is only fair that you suckle your mother. And there is a reason why you developed these feeding teeth. You drop the milk tip. So stop using milk. Pasteurized milk has chemicals. It's processed. It has no protein. It has no uh, calcium. It has nothing. It is just junk. So milk is a waste of time. When you fast, can I take water? Yes, you can take water. You can add salt. You can add. You can take sugarless uh, black coffee. You can take sugarless green tea. Now, salt is very important even in the skin also because it helps you in rehydrating. Those people who take a bottle of water every time in your office and you drink it all the time, you're flushing out electrolytes. That's the reason you're visiting the toilet all the time. If you want to enjoy this water, and if you want this water to be absorbed fully, then you have to add a pinch of salt so that you can absorb it. Because where sodium goes, water follows. Now, somebody will tell you that water, taking water with salt will cause you hypertension. It's a lie. A professor called Gaiton in 1981 wrote that study. And what the syllabus has ignored in pharmacology textbooks, that's why textbook medics will come here telling me, oh, salt will cause hypertension. Oh, you don't know the RAS system. The RAS system is half documented in the syllabus. So Gaiton said that salt will cause an increase in blood pressure by one millimeter mercury. One millimeter mercury. How effective is that? And then he said, this will again happen if you have dysfunctional kidneys. Dysfunctional kidneys. Why, did, why was that ignored in the syllabus? And now every doctor defends sugar but protects but protects sugar but uh, goes against salt saying that salt has an effect salt is healthy for you salt is necessary for your fertility women salt is necessary to balance your hormones people who have gastritis hold salt will help you produce hcl salt will help your nerves salt plays a role in blood pressure regulation and maintainer if you have high amounts of salt in the system you have functional kidneys they will excrete it in urine you have sweat glands, they will get it out. You have the saliva, you have tears, salt can get out through those outlets. How about sugar? Once you take it, it does not leave the system. It will not leave the system unless you do something about it. Either fast or work out so hard. But every doctor defends sugar because says nothing about sugar. Tells you to eat fruits with 
knowledge in his head about biochemistry and breakdown of fructose. So most of them just sat in a biochemistry class. Do you pity? The party pass. In Chapter Two Pass, I'll be a doctor. Go in January. Patients don't know this biochemistry. They don't. So you can consume sugar, yes, enjoy the sugar, and keep on being diabetic, keep on having that skin issue, and then come back. I will give you a drug, anyways. I'll give you insulin. I'll give you metformin. You have painful joints. I'll give you an arthritis drug. Those people who have arthritis, fix that is uh, that is also autoimmune. Fix it through fixing the gut. And by the way, there is a study that come came out that says that links fructose directly to gout and gouty arthritis. So fructose is also converted in the liver to uric acid, and uric acid is not the problem because uric acid can be taken out of the system by the kidneys through urine. However, if you have dysfunctional kidneys, there we go again. If you have dysfunctional kidneys, then you'll never get out this uric acid. So it will start accumulating in your blood, and then it will precipitate into your joints and form those crystals that are painful in your joints. Now, you'll be told to take drugs that lower uric acid, but you're not being told to eat foods that are healthy for your kidneys. Sugar kills the kidneys, and therefore you'll have high content of uric acid in your system. You'll have high content of what? Uh, 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 salt. And therefore, you cannot control your blood pressures. That is what is being omitted. So please, listen to your syllabus, doctor, and start asking them questions. Once you start asking them questions, they start getting mad. What is recommended baby porridge? You can use amaranth, uh, ground nuts. You can use kitamul kwanona. They used to combine uh, omena and all this, but don't put cassava in it. Cassava is high in, in cyanide. You poison your kid. Maize is highly GMO. Don't. You can use maybe wheat or sorghum. Not wheat, sorghum and millet. What about olive oil? Olive oil is supposed to be used for top dressing. It is monosaturated. It has one double bond. That double bond is unstable. So if you hit it, that's why it comes in a bottle that is dark colored. Good. Let's go to Simos. Your views, please. Use Simos. Groundnuts also you contain arsenic, <laughs> bro. You will also tell us that fish contains mercury. We know all these things. So what can you do? What's your YouTube channel? My YouTube channel is Health and Wellness Sport. Actually, if you're not on YouTube channel, you're missing out on a lot. And by the way, thank you so much for being here. Those guys who are on TikTok, you're always supportive. Those guys who are on uh, YouTube, we'll keep doing this every other time. We are even stepping it up higher. So thank you so much for being part of us. Now, I'll welcome questions. Uh, and I'll welcome people to come here on my TikTok live so that we can answer those questions. And I'm only welcoming people who have respiratory issues, who have asthma, who have uh, sinusitis, who have recurrent tonsillitis, those people who have skin problems like acne, eczema, pimples, and stuff. If you ask me any other question apart from that, we will kick you out because we want to focus on uh, what is important and what is necessary for now. So reserve your stories for another day. So many of you have requested to be in, so let's start with Kato. I mean, all people on YouTube, you can keep asking those questions. I'll keep answering them as we continue. Thank you, Lija. Good morning. Yes, good morning. Kato. Thank you so much for this lovely information. Yes. I want I don't I don't take a lot of your time. Yes. I, I I usually get it's not been a long term problem like a problem in the last two three months. Mm -hmm. Like when I go to my bedroom yes. and I'm I'm lying on the pillow, I get a I get a lot of mucus mm -hmm. in my nose. Mm -hmm. Like I feel I have mucus on my throat. Yeah. Um, I have to keep blowing my nose. Yeah. Like really, I get blocked. I have to keep blowing before I sleep, yeah. and then in the morning when I wake up, that problem will just disappear again until another night. Good. So first, first things first, eh? Yeah. What is your body weight? I'm between. Um, I don't know my body weight, but I'm sure I'm eighty-five, and I am five point nine height. You're eighty-five kgs. I must be around eighty-five, and I'm almost six feet. I'm very tall. Good. No, no, no. no. You've answered question B. Stick to the, stick to the stick to the point. Your weight is eighty-five, okay. right? Regardless of your yes, height. Yes. Uh, what is your nature of work? Business. I work a lot. I work a lot. Like I meet. I do services. So like I'm in clients' offices. Okay. <laughs> Yep, it's Good. a business salon, beauty, beauty related business. Good. What is your cooking oil? 
Is it to not cause for money? Is it to do you consume any like products? Or, or Elianto, ah. like street one, just two points. Oh, Elianto and dollars. Do you consume any wheat products? Any what? Wheat products. Do you eat bread, mandazi, uh, chapati, spaghetti, I've macaroni? Stopped. Do you? I've stopped wheat in the last month. Bread. Okay, don't do bread. I no longer take bread. What What do you take? <laughs> what What were you using? What, what were you used to taking? I, I was a bread person. Tea and bread in the morning. Tea, bread in the morning. Yeah, the milk was pasteurized, like? Or you used to take milk straight from the cow? Straight from the cow. I have cows. And then you boil it because you're cooking tea, right? Yes. So, yes. You, so you render it junk because you know at 40 degrees C there is no protein again. You've denatured the protein, you've denatured all enzymes. Okay. So that, milk, that. that, that milk is useless. Unless if you want milk... Take milk straight from the cow, take it into the gut, let it ferment, and enjoy it after fermentation with no sugar. Now, again, let's continue. So, what's, what are your form of carbohydrates? What do you, do you eat ugali, rice? Yes. Yes. That's you, the normal ugali, rice. That's the beans. I mean, that's the kind of food. That's just the normal Kenyan food. And do you take, do you take sugar? I, in the last one month, I, st- I have stopped. I thought yeah. it was the cause. The question, the question was very specific. Do you take sugar? No. For how long? Tea sugar, like the sugar that you put in tea. I'll ask again. Do you take sugar? Yes, the sugar that you add in tea. <laughs> no, no, I don't. Not it doesn't. For how long have you stopped that? A month. A month. Okay. Yes. Okay. For how long were you taking sugar before you stopped? A life. Oh, my life. Good. Thank you. <laughs> A lifetime. Yes. Good. Now, uh, <laughs> if you see people reacting to this already, you will know where you've gone wrong already. Everybody knows what I advocate for, and everybody or already what you're taking here is the the reason why you are at eighty five kgs. That's the reason why you're experiencing those respiratory allergies all the time because those that is just a, a raise in in your histamine. And again, that pillow might be one okay. reason why you get it because the pillow has maybe conaizoma. Okay. Yeah, so in a, it can okay. help in a cause yeah. production of histamine. However, the pillow is not the problem. Yeah. You are the problem. You have been consuming sugar. You have been consuming wheat products. You have been consuming. Uh, what is your favorite fruit? Uh, avocado and bananas a lot. You have been consuming banana, which has sugar. Yeah. And that is just your favorite. So there are other there are other fruits. Now you've been consuming, yes. you've been using seed oils to cook your meals. And then you are ignoring that and you want to fix. Have you used any antihistamine for your problem? No. I haven't used any medication yet. Oh, good. So now from today, go change your cooking yeah. oil from that seed oil by ghee. Or coconut uh-huh. or coconut oil. Use that for cooking. Cook your meals in that. Number two. No wheat products yeah. at all. At all. Zero wheat products, be it spaghetti, macaroni, whatever. No wheat products at okay. all. They are okay. not necessary, they are not essential. Number three, no sugar in all forms, including fruits and honey. Oh, okay. And when I mention seed oils, I also mention I'm also mentioning butternut, the not butternut, the peanut butter. I'm also mentioning uh, the margarine. Okay. 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 And then the last one, this weight has to come down regardless of your height. Now, an average, an average human being has to weigh 70 kgs. At 75, you're, oh, at, at 85, you already have 15 kgs more than an average human being. And a male for that matter, not a female, a male. I have a strong bone structure. Uh, you, you, think, you think so? <laughs> if you have a strong bone structure, if you have a strong bone structure, as you say, why are we having this conversation? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay, so, okay. I'm learning. I'm learning. So you want to think that the body will select having strong bone structure and having a weak respiratory system? I hear you. Good. <laughs> yeah. See you when this is fixed. And then again, start fasting two minutes a day. One at 11 a.m., the next one at 8 p.m. in the night. And these two have to be high in protein, high in animal fat, and high in vegetables. Yeah. Simple. Okay. Good. Okay. Thank you for Thank that. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for being here. Good. Uh, is asthma 
irreversible because my girlfriend has it and got it 2017. Thanks. I came to you to know you today morning already learning. You're welcome, uh, Daniel. Now, you cannot, in fact, the first immunity is in your head. You cannot say, is asthma irreversible? Which means you already conditioned yourself to think it cannot be reversed. Asthma is a chronic condition of respiratory tract infection. Actually, it's an inflammatory condition. Every inflammation, inflammatory condition can be reversed, including asthma. So asthma is reversible. Fix that mindset first. Asthma is reversible. Now, how do you reverse asthma? I just mentioned those four things to do. Your girlfriend has to drop seed oils. Cook using ghee or coconut oil. Drop sugar, bro, in all forms. Drop uh, wheat products in all forms. I know you're addicted to chapati and stuff. Drop them. Then from there, start fasting. Two meals a day is enough, bro. Then a 24-hour fast, maybe one meal a day for one day in a week. After that, make sure, bro, make sure that your meals are rich in protein. Make it fatty protein. Fish, chicken, plus the skin, eggs. Six to eight eggs a day, if you can. Enjoy those eggs. Then vegetables. Prioritize cruciferous vegetables. The green leafy vegetables also. Avocados. Okay? And then animal fats. So just fats, protein-rich diet, and vegetables, and avocado. Perfect diet for reversal of asthma. Thank me later. Good. Uh, let's go to the next one. Uh, hey, hi, Doc. My mom developed asthma at 55. She was told it's menopausal asthma. That that doctor should be fired immediately. How can how 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 much does your mother weigh in the first place? And then how can you tell a woman that your asthma is because of menopause? How many women are in their menopause and they don't have asthma? Hi, Doc. I love Nyamachoma. What about that? Good or bad? Nyamachoma is good. Meat in all forms is good. Good. Let's go to the next one. There are so many women having... Uh, who are in menopause, but they don't have asthma. So how would you explain that? Do you have to tell us they don't have estrogen? That's just estrogen dominance affecting your mother. That's a, an issue with weight. How about oats? Oats are simple sugars. Avoid them. Oats, cereals, drop them. Yes, Eric, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, just fresh morning. This uh, very nice. I'm uh, very happy to see you. Thank you, bro. I'm happy so, to hear from you. So. I, took, I joined your group uh, one month ago, and uh, I think things have been uh, moving on very smoothly. I really appreciate that the information that you're putting out today. Yes, sir. <laughs> the future is only brighter. So, my problem. My problem comes when I go to the upcountry, yes, and um, right in the evening, I get these. I get blocked on my respiratory respiratory system. Mm. I've never known the reason because mm. uh, I live in a, a highland region of Kerito, yeah. and it always happens when I go to the upcountry. But when I'm in Nairobi, I'm just doing fine. Okay. So could there be a reason? Could there be a cause where when I change the the geolocation, my geolocation that affects uh, my respiratory system. Hundred and one percent. When you go to the high lines, it's very cold, right? Eric. Yes, yes. Yeah, good. So when you go to the highlands, it's very cold, and cold has a way of exposing weak immunity. That's the reason why you always see people having this runny nose uh, during a cold, during cold weather, because one, cold, running runny nose is a viral condition, and viruses are always in our system. So our immunity fights them and keeps them at low. But when you have low immunity, viruses in Akuja, they start causing you the, that uh, that runny nose. Now, when you go to the up country, there are so many issues there. One, if you say you come from highlands, that could be cold. Number two, could be because of uh, now pollution. There's a lot of pollution nowadays. But the point is Nairobi is more polluted than the, the up country. So the issue is basically your low immunity. And I'm glad you're part of that group because that group will help you lose maximum weight that group will also help you lose insulin resistance. And that group will fix your gut. Once you fix your gut, bro, you will you will enjoy that weather. Uko mashambani. And again, when you are in the up country, bro, tembea mguchini, walk barefoot, okay? 
walk barefoot, enjoy sleeping on the floor. These are the things that we avoided. And please, do not carry seed oils from town, taking them it to your, your parents in the in, in the villages. <laughs> because, <laughs> because nowadays children are killing their parents. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I was very tempted to take uh, the normal um, uh, seed oils. Yeah. But now I just was just thinking, why would I take seed oils and me myself I don't take them? Yeah, bro, don't don't do that. I, I just make sure you focus. And you see, they'll see you losing weight. They'll see you recovering from these conditions. They'll follow suit. They will actually know that you're doing the right thing. But you cannot advise somebody about healthy living, and you're fat, you're obese, you're diabetic. You, are, you have a whole mini pharmacy in your car. Everywhere you go, you have to, to pop a pill for antihistamines. So you have all these skin allergies and respiratory allergies. So you can never advise anybody about health if at all you have not fixed your own health. So I'm, I'm proud that you're part of that system. And I want you to continue being there so that we can uh, sort this once and for all. And once that happens, bro, you will have a lot to thank us for. Eric is somewhere in uh, in Kericho trying to fix the internet. <laughs> so one question on YouTube. I appreciate your input in my family. My husband no longer injects himself insulin, but survives on your recommendations on diet. He is doing so well. And there's Serena. There we go. As they keep arguing on our profiles, as they keep throwing that negative energy, we are busy saving people. So we don't focus on that. As they continue tapping our information, using it silently, and then coming back to talk bad about it, we are busy fixing the nation. And one day, it's my dream that we'll have a healthy generation that doesn't doesn't think about drugs, that thinks about dietary modifications. Even if your children, I know I affect many people. There are people who are who have children in universities studying medicine and pharmacy and nutrition, and they are thinking, what if is the future that bright? Because if nutritionists don't take a bold stand and listen. The future is nutrition, but the future is away from mainstream nutrition. Literally everything that is done on mainstream nutrition and mainstream media do the opposite. If there are guidelines for diabetes treatment and management, do the opposite because those guidelines are compromised by the big pharma. I have one year following you and actually I have changed completely. Imagine fasting. It increases my concentration and I have no problem with memory anymore. Now I'm putting more effort to my babe. Hey, Neema Solomon, that babe will have a lot to thank you for because he will regain his manhood back. He will raise his testosterone and soon he'll be complaining about how he walks you the whole night. So thank you for being part of us, Neema. Keep fasting. Please, can I stop heartburn? Yes, you can stop heartburn. There's a video. Thank you, Ibarra. There's a video we've done about heart... Uh, uh, fixing the gut. So go and check that video on my YouTube. My YouTube channel, those who are on TikTok, is Health and Wellness Sport. A mini library. A mini library. Mm -hmm. Hey, most of, mo so many of you are requesting to be on. <laughs> I can only take a few of you because of time again. We don't want to go until 3 p.m. like the other day. <laughs> I need to do some things. <laughs> John Chantel. Okay, John Chantel is fixing Managu or something. <laughs> John, you're live with us. Hello, Sasa. Poor Sana, for the sake of those people who don't Hi. understand Kiswahili, kindly talk in English. Hello, how are Actually, you? Actually, I have allergies. Hey, which allergies? Fine, thank you. My throat is itching, the nose, the eyes. Okay. <laughs> that I've been taking settles in, but they it are. doesn't help. Now you're talking because that, that information you just given is mm -hmm. very shallow. That information you've given is very shallow, but you have allergies and then and then that's it. They've been taking settles in, then that's it. Tell us about yeah, what you've been allergies, eating. My, 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 How long my have... nose itches my, my throat, especially the right side mm. of the throat. The uh, eye and the ear. How long have you had these allergies? It's been long, about two years. What is your body weight? Mm, 
eight and nine. How long have you been on this live? Been long. Oh, you've been here it's for. Last now. For how long have you been on this live? My my lights are going off. How long? Have you, yes. Just, it's almost 20 minutes now. Steamers mepotea bana. Huko mashambani tunasumbuana. You've been uh, you've, you 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 you've been on this live for how, many, how long? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Yeah. What is your cooking oil? Seed oils. Do you normal oil? Do you consume wood products? That we normally use No. Which yeah, which products I do? What is your favorite fruit? Fruit. Hmm. Bananas. Hmm. So you've had us telling people not to eat fruits. You've and had us telling food. people not to eat seed oils and not to eat wheat products. Why don't you drop those things? I will. It will help. I will. <laughs> hey, so, so. Go ahead and save yourself, Mazi. <laughs> yeah, she almost looks like she's she's concentrating on something else. She's doing something different, and we are handling something different. So we will excuse her for now, so that she goes and fixes the family before fixing her diet. Uh, examples of non-seed oils. We just mentioned animal fats: ghee, tallow, lard, suet, butter. Then you can use coconut oil also. So those are just the 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 the, 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 the non-seed oils that you can use is your okay is solio is it possible that you display us a menu because what it's hard to make a menu minus wheat ugali i've done a video already on, on my youtube channel about what you should eat what you should avoid and it's it's quite simple yeah so please uh nancy that video will be helpful for you because i tell you to basically combine six types of carbohydrates so you move from wheat you move from rice and ugali and then just use beans beans are carbohydrates for those of you who don't know so beans pumpkin butternut arrowroot sweet potatoes and green bananas the matoke of the plantain those those six are the sources of carbohydrates then these six you can now combine them with any form of protein be it red or white meat be it the liver be it chicken fish or whatever and vegetables and then add an avocado that is the only fruit so basically that's the the basics of what you should do if you want to lead a healthy life and then start fasting two meals a day is enough can i reverse uh hip replacement no we cannot talk about hip replacement now uh, now me who is 180 centimeters tall and 120 kgs i'm just 24 oh at 124 kgs daniel 124 kgs that is not even kgs that is 0.124 120 tons so you don't weigh in kgs anymore so you need to fix that and fixing that means you have to drop carbohydrates in your diet completely you at the way how we tell you to the six you only need to go on a protein rich diet animal fat and vegetable diet and avocado those will that that is enough to shed that weight all the way to 70 in 3 months zero carbohydrates zero carbohydrates i repeat zero carbohydrates hi dog i don't eat meat how do i get the animal fats Why don't you eat meat? Meat. Tobias, tell us why don't you eat meat? <laughs> so if you're weighing if you're weighing more than 100 kg, that's a serious problem. Trust me, it's a serious problem. And if you're a man, regardless of your height, even if you can touch the skies, but you're weighing, <laughs> you're weighing more than 100 kg, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't Queen Jamila is 135 and she's 5.4. Queen, <laughs> where? Where do you get all these this this kgs? And then Queen Jamila, you might end up telling us, you know, I have a very strong bone structure. You know, it is in the genes. You know, God wanted me to be this way. Now, please. Sometimes God is handling very serious matters, and we tend to load His schedule with a lot of issues. It's not about God; it's about you and what you've been eating. Aha, uh -huh. let's talk to
So I hope someday we'll get to interact with this uh, kind of information on YouTube also so that these people get to understand what we do. And I'm so glad that you guys are more to stick around to just listen to what we are saying. It is very important. Doc, please talk about dengue fever. What about dengue fever? Dengue fever was very common in Mombasa when I was working in Mombasa in 2019 and 2020. But you cannot manage dengue fever. You can only manage the symptoms. That's the problem with dengue fever. Mm. Halima Anike. Hello, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Um, I'm fine, thank you. Um, my question is as regards to PCOS. I don't know if you have any specific um I have a video on PCOS. Yeah, I, have, I have a video on PCOS, and today I'm talking about skin and respiratory allergies. So unfortunately, I will not uh, have you at your attention to the fullest. So next time, good uh, PCOS. I encourage you to find my my number. I also encourage you to to check out my YouTube channel about uh, the, the 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 video I put up about uh, hormonal imbalance. So if you ask me any other question apart from respiratory and skin allergies, I'm going to drop you because I will not fix that. Uh, there's my contact on my all my profiles. However, let me just put my deal number here so that if somebody feels that they are uh, in a position to support our channel, then you can send you. Mm -hmm. Before I bring in somebody else. So uh, let me bring in one Jamburu, and I hope it's about respiratory allergies. If it's about something else, then I uh, will not answer it. On YouTube, please, what can I do? Uh -huh. What is the question again? Good. Uh, Please, what can I do? Serious back pain. Uh, back pains, you need to start sleeping on the floor. You need to also lose weight. Can we eat pumpkin with the seeds? Yes, men should eat pumpkin with the seeds. They have high content of copper and uh, of, of uh, yeah, the copper and the zinc. And zinc is very important in uh, fertility in men. Good. Uh, let's continue. Who is this? One Jamburu. Hello. I've been listening to you. I'm enjoying everything. Thank you. Especially about oils. I have discovered I had a problem with oils. And now I have fixed that with olive, which is, uh, I don't cook. I just dress my vegetables. Okay. I'm doing uh, fat, fats from uh, animals. Mm. I'm enjoying my greens uh, and my foods with uh, fat animal, animal yes. fats. Perfect. I've dropped the uh, wheat. Yeah. And I've noticed that uh, my allergies are good. I used to have a lot of uh, high intolerance with especially milk. Yes. Uh, but unfortunately, I have a problem with avocado. Mm, what about it? Every time I eat avocado, I have high allergies. In fact, with bad uh, diarrhea. Why did you drop it? Yeah, I've dropped it. Mm, you don't need it. Drop it. And, and I've reduced in weight in the in the last two weeks. How much? I have reduced. You won't believe this. Mm. You won't believe I used to have a very big uh, belly and so forth. Yeah. Even arms and under the neck, mm -hmm. under, uh, you know, under the chin. Yeah, yeah, the double chin. I'm having a great body. Wow, wow. And I like it that now you have said we, 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 we take water with a little bit of uh, salt. Yeah. Yeah, I'm liking this this program. Keep going, keep doing what you're doing. The fact that you've lost weight already is an indicator that you're on the right track. So I yes. I keep encouraging you to, to keep doing that. And one day we'll know we'll have you here. You'll give us your whole testimony about this. 
Thank you very much. We appreciate you. Thank you for the testimonial. Okay. This is what we enjoy doing on a daily basis. On a daily basis. We get these testimonials every other time. And then we get surprised. Why are people uh, still beat about the systems? You don't... Let me tell you. You will never win the war against the system. You can't. <laughs> the system is bigger than you. So the only thing you need is to get the information and then use it to help you. <laughs> you can you can never beat the system. The drug industry will always be rich. They will always produce new drugs. You ask yourself, why diabetic patients are always having a new drug? Why do you have a new antihistamine every other time? That we have this combination, and this combination is effective, it's cheap, it's affordable. So it is it, this antihistamine plus this uh, steroid, we have this and this. Why are they combining all these things before, instead of just telling you to fix the gut? Save that money and buy healthy foods. Yes, don't. Yeah, good morning, Doc. Good morning. How are you? Yeah, fine. Uh, just coming to you. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was when I gave you a follow. When I saw your live this morning, I thought it's time to call Sir. the live. But I've been listening uh, for like 10 minutes now. Sir, your, your, your sound is a little low. Please. Uh... Uh, okay. Can yeah. you hear me now? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, I think I've, I've been listening to you for like 10 minutes now. Mm -hmm. That was when I sent a request. Okay. Uh, please, concerning the the food aspect, the mm. diet food that we should be taking. Uh, what do you advise? Because sometimes when I go to work, mm. maybe for like an hour or two, mm -hmm. I'll, feel, I'll be feeling pains under my leg. It looks as if I'm very tired to sit, to always be on my mind to sit down where, when I walk uh, sometimes eight hours. Okay. Where are, you, where are you calling us from? I'm in Germany. Oh, you're in Germany? Yeah. So when you walk, you feel pain in your feet? Yeah, I feel pain in my feet. What is your body weight? I think it should be 80 or 92, yeah. The last time I checked, it was 80, I think about uh, four months ago. Mm. What is Sometimes it? I, feel also, I feel so weak when I sleep. Maybe getting up. I don't know if I don't. I don't. I don't have enough enough sleep. I don't really know. How, mu how much time do you sleep? Huh? How much time do you sleep? Sometimes I sleep maybe four hours. Now the, on the shift I have. Now the problem is you're focusing on the wrong things. The, you need to focus on the right things, and the right things are what are your cooking oils? Uh, sometimes I use uh, I use olive oil. Mm. I buy it sometimes I use the normal oil, the one that is more cheaper. Mm. I let me see. I'm coming. Guys, did you did you did you just hear that? Did you just hear that? That is one thing that I understand. That seed oils are very affordable and they are always flagging our markets, they are always in the market. So if you walk in a supermarket, you will see a whole long shelf of different types of seed oils and the vegetable oils. And in your head, you quickly pick that because that is what comes to your face. That is what is appealing to your face. You will, ghee is hidden somewhere below the shelves. You walk into any supermarket, the first smell that hits your nose is a bakery. And then it is so designed and the lights and, and the fruits in the supermarket, they have sprinkled some water so that they look like as though they are very fresh. So they convince your head that this is fresh, this is health. And the seed oils have been marketed and labeled vegetables on it. There are so many vegetables on it, and you think, wow. So if I take this, this vegetable oil, it has a lot of vegetables in it. It is a waste of time. It's a marketing strategy. Bro, go on a carbohydrate-free diet. That is one. Number two, raise protein intake. Make your protein high in fat. Eat fatty meat. Don't eat lean meat. Eat chicken plus the skin. Eat fish. And then eat the liver in plenty. Eat eggs. Eat vegetables. The reason why I'm telling you this is because that inflammation in your feet is being caused by, number one, either the normal inflammation or, number two, vitamin B12 deficiency. So you're, you're already on the edge. So chances are if you take a HbA1c test, you are pre-diabetic. Because your weight is 85 and you're not sure. So it could be more. Maybe I'll go and check maybe recently. I'll yeah. Because you need to fix your weight. You need to fix your gut. Drop those seed oils. Don't use those vegetable oils, bro. Buy ghee. Buy tallow. Buy butter. Buy coconut oil. You can use those for cooking. Let me, 
this this is the type of oil I use. This most of the time, this is the type of oil I use. Just a minute. Let me just uh, try and expand it to see this. Uh, what is happening here? I want to see that. Yeah. This is a plastic container, right? Yeah, plastic. Yeah. And guys, you can imagine. Just, just hold. You can imagine how that looks. Very appealing. Very bright colors. Is in a plastic container. There are vegetables on that oil, and then you start thinking, "Oh, I just got the right product, bro. That is not the right product. Let me now hold you the right product." Okay. So in Kenya we have this. Are you seeing this? Yeah, I can see it. So it is labeled. Uh, where is it? It's labeled ghee. It's called ghee. So this is a this is an aluminium container. It's a uh, entire metal. You see. Then they also have another brand. This one, again another. So this is ghee. This is this is fat that is extracted from milk. It's a milk fat. So you can use this milk fat. You can also use uh, the other one, the tallow, which is a beef fat. You, you can use coconut oil because coconut oil is also saturated, so it is stable. Okay. Yeah. So okay. those are the those are the cooking oils that you're supposed to use. You, you, you were talking about uh, 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 with coca oat that uh, we shouldn't take it because this uh, sometimes this has been in my house for like uh, three months. Even my wife don't eat it. Me, I eat sometimes in the morning <laughs> just with a, a drop of sugar when I make it. I don't make much. It has been with me for like six months. So do do us a favor. Read the ingredients. Okay. Okay, I will do that. No, just read it loud right now. We want to we want to hear what is always happening in the food industry. Okay. Are you able to read the label? The ingredients? No, I'm come I'm come a minute. No, okay, okay, so. Yeah. Uh, but it's Dutch, not in English. Uh, ah, unfortunately, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> no problem. Yeah, of course. No problem. No, that's that, uh, that, that's that's. You're talking about you're talking about sugar sometimes because sugar. I don't take sugar. Maybe I want to take uh, tea. This is the type of tea I take. I don't know if it's this is green tea, but not all the time. I take them not all the time. Sometimes in the morning, I just take it with a seed of sugar, just one, one, uh, one, one seed of sugar. I'll just put it inside in a half cup of water. I will take it because taking it like that, uh, this is this is also another thing. You know, me, I don't really take uh, milk. Mm -hmm. I don't take milk tea. Okay. I wish people on YouTube could see this, but anyway, let's continue. Yeah, I don't really take it. Sometimes I take coffee, and uh, this uh, also this is the, this is the type of tea we have here in the supermarket. Whoa, processed, packaged, advertised. Drop it. If you okay. unfortunately they, they they write their labels in in a language that somebody cannot understand. So so you can just yeah. buy them, and yeah. sometimes they use codes to code those, those those languages. Now anything that is packaged and processed, just drop it. So the point is this: the only thing that will remain with you see the first tea that you showed me. Does it come in form of tea bags? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So the only thing that you have to yeah. do now, actually, the, the first two things that are going to disappear in that house is the, the seed oil, the one that you just showed me for cooking, and then you, the sugar. Now, you can in the morning when you wake up, you can take warm water, you put in, or hot water, you can put in that one tea bag and take it. That is enough. You are already activating your systems already to burn fat. So you don't okay. need... I should, I, should, I should add sugar to it. You should drop sugar totally, bro. You don't need sugar. Sugar is the enemy. Okay. So sugar, seed oils, and wheat products, those are the enemies. Okay. That is what you're supposed to drop. Because sometimes sometimes when I want to cook, we use this, this, this is a local oil. You know, this is the red oil. 
<laughs> Bro, there's a lot of problems in your house. <laughs> voilà. This is sometimes you use this to cook maybe uh, soup, soup or something. Because me, sometimes yeah. I do take, I do take uh, a garlic. Man, your house garlic with your, your, water, garlic with uh, honey. Your house is full garlic of garlic with honey, something. Your house is full of crap foods, bro. Crap foods. You cannot avoid any health conditions with that uh, type of uh, kitchen. You need to fix that kitchen. You need to go to organic foods. You need to go to organic supplements, uh, organic foods, organic uh, uh, spices. And therefore, you need to change your cooking oil to animal fats. You need to change the sugar has to go in your diet. No sugar at all. And sugar has no substitute. Do not use any sugar substitute or any natural uh, just stevia, I don't know stevia or, or, the, or drop any sugar substitute, drop even honey. Just go on a sugar free diet, change your cooking oil, drop wheat products, all wheat products, and now start focusing on whole foods and organic foods. Don't go for those packaged stuff, bro. Okay, this is the only sometimes this is the only they have here. When you check the under, sometimes you see you see sugar even in the under of the honey. Your dustbin will be full today. Okay. Okay. Good. So, let, okay. for the sake of other people, let me let, let me let me let me put in some some other guys. I appreciate your time, bro. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being honest with your kitchen. Okay. We'll keep fixing Sorry, this. Concerning the fast, yeah. concerning the fast thing that you're talking about, hmm. the fast thing can I pass from maybe morning to two? Yes. Before I can eat. Is it good? Your first meal has to come in from midday. Okay. So if you eat at two, there's no problem. But just make sure the meal that you're eating at that moment in time has to be rich in animal fat, has to be fatty protein, and has to be rich in vegetables. Because when you're fasting, your insulin goes down. So if you break a fast by eating carbohydrates, you will shoot your insulin again. We don't want that. It will be a zero fast. So start your meals with high protein, high animal fat, and high vegetable diets. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, thank sir. Thank you very much. She keeps presenting, bro. Thank you, you so much. Your YouTube is your profile, right? Yes, my YouTube, YouTube is, top profile. Yeah, it's called Health and Wellness Sport. So, okay. Kindly. Okay, thank, thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir, for being here. It. Yeah, thank you. Uh, that's a good one. That's a good one. So you can imagine, most of you, most of you who are here, your kitchen is just, is just a mess. It's just a mess. A serious mess. If you're not using ghee, if you're not using coconut oil, if you're not using tallow, you're using the wrong cooking oils. Is oats okay for breaking the fast? Oats is simple carbohydrates. Why would you go to processed foods and simple carbohydrates to break your fast? A fast is supposed to be broken by eggs, fermented cabbage, avocado, uh, cabbage juice, or carrot juice. Why would you use a carbohydrate to break a fast? The intention of fasting is to lower your insulin level for you to recover from skin conditions and metabolic syndrome and start burning fat. So why are you you're telling your body not to burn carbohydrates, to burn fat, and then you give it again carbohydrates? It's a waste of space. Are cold pressed seed oils safe to use? How about cold pressed palm oil? I will tell you this about seed oils. I don't, people will tell me if I eat maize, there's no problem. That is your own business. Now, cold pressed seed oils are still a problem. The issue is not in cold pressing or the processing also. The issue starts from them being unsaturated. Now, when I say unsaturated, I mean they have carbon atoms. And within carbon, those who sat in a, in, in a chemistry class, the organic chemistry class, between carbon atoms, we have bonds that bond each carbon to another or to hydrogen. And between this, we can have single bonds. That is what we call saturated. We can have double bonds and triple bonds. So double bonds and triple bonds, that is what we call unsaturated. So when they are unsaturated, they are unstable. They cannot withstand heat. They cannot withstand uh, oxygen. They will oxidize and form free radicals, which are toxic to your mitochondria which can also combine with the cell membrane and make your cell membrane very unstable and susceptible to cancer and stuff. So if you're using any any form of seed oils, whether cold pressed or processed, is a waste of your time because they still have high content of omega-6. They still are unsaturated, so they cannot stand high temperatures. And you're using them to cook, so they'll oxidize. They cannot stand oxygen. This is the concept that is called rancidity. Rancidity. Umalimono chemistry mbona aliwangusha hivu. Rancidity is, how, is that oxidation, okay? And something else, if you're using a seed oil that is liquid, okay, there's a trick. So these people know that animal fats sometimes are solid, like tallow. So what they do, they will just convert their liquid seed oils into solid. 
and then sell it to you. So that solid oil that you're still using is a seed oil. They will just pass it through hydrogen, through hydrogenation, they make it a solid. So drop every seed oil in all forms. Drop it. We're actually not eating seeds. Okay? So if you're not eating seeds because they have high content of anti-nutrients, why would we consume the seed oils? Good. Uh, let's see on TikTok, one, uh, maybe two more or something. So I'll pin my contact uh, or my tail number so that if somebody feels comfortable sending their token to us and supporting our channel, we will appreciate I hope this time it, it allows me to pin it because the last time we tried to pin it, it refused. <clears throat> Today Wasike is not there. There we go. So that's my till number five. Anna, I've just been the wrong thing. Five thirty-eight. It's not five thirty-eight. It's five twenty-eight. Let me redo that. Five twenty-eight twelve nine one. Five two eight twelve nine one. That's my my personal till number. So you can use that to send a token to our channel, and we will highly appreciate. You can also use our number. Lewis Machira 0714 all, all on my my bios. So let's go to the next one before we answer this question. Even Elianto Navenyeni expensive badon in buy. Elianto is coming from corn. It's coming from maize. Elianto is a seed oil. Hey, there's so many people requesting to be on. I don't know how that will be handled now. But again, we have like uh, around 20 minutes to disappear. So if you've not uh, been answered. I think I've done enough. Good morning. Kindly talk about soya bean oil. Is it safe to use? So you just said soya bean, and beans are they are grains. They are seeds. Huh? Get through the boil. We actually avoid soy products. Leave alone soy oil. Ile soya chai, soya milk. All soy products. The gym product products like uh, the 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 whey proteins that have soy in them. You need to avoid them by all means because soy is highly estrogenic. That means it will raise your estrogen levels in the system. As a woman, you'll get into picos, you'll get into endometriosis, painful menstruation, cervical cancer and breast cancer, and infertility. For men, high amounts of estrogen means erectile dysfunction, obesity, uh, premature ejaculation, and femininity. You'll become a woman, literally. So drop any soy product by all means. Listen to this question. Uh, what's the immediate source of vitamin B12? Probably I got deficit of it when I was taking glucophage. Now you cannot talk about immediate. Here we fix a lifetime. So it's all about the process. You enjoy the process. Number one, you have to start fasting for you to concentrate stomach acid. I've actually put up a video about vitamin B12. You can take a good look at it, uh, Jen Rose. You can take a, a good look at that uh, vitamin B12. So the liver, the eggs, those are high contents of vitamin B12. But you cannot absorb vitamin B12 without having intrinsic factor. And intrinsic factor is actually activated by strong HCL. So you need strong HCL in the stomach. That means you have to fast so that you can fix your gut pH. Once you fix your gut pH, then that HCL will tear off the amino acids in the vitamin B12 from meat and from the eggs. And then you can combine it with intrinsic factors for you to absorb it. So it's a whole channel. So you need to start fasting fast before you even think about uh, any other thing, before you think about eating that meat and that liver. Good. Uh, Camila Busire, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. Uh, we are not getting you clearly. Kindly move, move near your microphone. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Are you getting me now? I am. Um, so, okay. So, I, growing up, mm. I have always been an obese kid, okay? Mm -hmm. So, like, gr growing up, 
bit overweight. Yeah? Okay. So, um, I guess when I was around uh, 18, 18 years old, mm-hmm. I had a problem. Mm. So, my, I had asthma. I had asthma um, and allergies. Mm-hmm. Um, so, when I was 18 years old, I decided to, you know, I need to change this kind of lifestyle. Mm. But I did not know the right way to do it, of course. Mm-hmm. So, first thing, I decided to go to the gym. Mm, I cut out sugar. Mm-hmm. Um, I saw an improvement on my weight loss. I remember I was around, imagine, 100 kgs at that age. Mm-hmm. That was a well, bad. Well, um, that was dance. Uh, yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, currently, I am 22. Okay. I weigh 79 kgs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I still have, I have a problem with sinus, sinusitis. I have sinusitis mm. and the allergies still occur. Okay. So uh, whenever I eat eggs, mm. I, 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 my skin really reacts. How long, how, again when, uh-huh. yeah? how long have you been on this live? On this live, I've been on this live since when, when it started. When mm. it started, I was here. Uh, have you heard of anything I said about uh, protein allergies? Yeah, I've been actually I've been following you for let's say two months. Okay. So I've been implementing a bit on my diet and oil, mm. but you know, also I'm I live uh, with my parents and my siblings, and so it gets a bit hard because mm-hmm. now they don't understand why this kind of oil as we're using this one when you do this so it, it, it becomes hard so how many how many how many how, how many are you in, the, in that family how many siblings are you five. you're five yeah. please please move near your microphone we want to hear you yeah, yeah. Five. how old are you um currently i'm 22 okay 22 so you're five. how many of those are overweight Above eighty, I think most of most of them, mm-hmm. the adults, mm-hmm. eighty, They're above eighty, including your dad and your mom. Yeah, my dad and my mom, mm. above eighty, and uh, my sisters, two of them, mm. I think also eight. Then me at seventy nine. Mm. Then the rest are kids. So number one, mm-hmm. number one. It is not in your genes. <laughs> because I know you've blamed genes for quite some time. You've even said, you know, I, I, I grew up as an obese kid. So, yeah, you're born in an obese family, but you did not, it's not your fault that you're obese. But again, it's your fault that you have not done anything to change the situation. So I want you to do this. I want you to change your life literally. Don't care about what your mother or your father thinks about. Don't care about what they think about the oil that you're coming with. Health is a personal journey. It doesn't involve your parents. Family, friends, and spouse are the first people on the line of people who mess up your gut and the people who will actually discourage you from this journey. Your boyfriend will tell you, if you lose weight, I'll, I'll, I'll break up with you because, again, I was enjoying the thick thighs. Now there are no thick thighs more anymore. I have to disappear. That is just okay. Health is a personal journey because at the end of the day, you will spend a lot of money trying to fix your health and there will be nothing for you to invest or for you to just... Uh, Move. So now, do not worry about the past. Do not worry about ukombele. Worry about what you have right now. That tells you only worry about what is immediate, what is important, and what is true. The truth is you already have the information. Drop seed oils, drop wheat products, drop carbohydrates in your diet. You don't need it. Drop fruits and honey. Now, what is immediate is sugar and uh, processed foods and those simple carbohydrates have to go. Seed oils have to go in the bin. So that is what you should be worried about right now. So we need you to drop that. And then after you drop that, then find us. Because you have my number, right? Yeah, yeah. Yani, sumbuana na mimi kabisa. My question is? Yeah, my question is, so at, at the EO process, you could shift from kwacha, wheat, from living which wheat, uh, wheat products, mm. now switching to, let's say, um, high-protein diet, eggs, and meat. Mm. Um, 
should I should it be gradual or should I like stop instantly? If you've been, now, if you've been consi- taking eggs, I, so, I eat so, and yet I'm the question. I'm, here is the question. Really. And I want an honest answer. Do you consider yourself a carbohydrate addict? Addict. Mm. <laughs> yes. Yes, but mm-hmm. um, is either yes or no? Yes, There's no explaining. Is yes or no? Do you consider yourself a carbohydrate yes, addict? Yes. So if you're a carbohydrate addict, then that has to be a problem. So now you will move from the simple carbohydrates towards the complex carbohydrates, the six that I just mentioned. Beans, pumpkins, butternuts, arrowroots, sweet potatoes, and green and, and what else? Beans, uh, butternuts, pumpkins, 